It won't be too much longer till Beyblade X is released. And yet, there's still not much info about it. However, some fans seem to think that this new gen will be a crossover between all three generations. So I thought, why not discuss what that would look like? The first idea is about a grand tournament between all three generations. In this tournament, we would see the types of battles we're normally accustomed to. 1v1s, tag battles, three-way battles, and maybe more? I don't think there's any more than that. I guess you could up that number to six, but that seems too much. This series would not have a new generation of bays. Instead, there will be a randomizer function for each battle to determine which generation of bays will be battling. So if Valtriac is going up against Pegasus, the randomizer will activate before the battle starts, and let's say it lands on the metal generation, then Vault would receive a Metal Saga version of Valtriac. There's no grand story for this idea, no villain. I think it would just be fun to see the Bladers battle against opponents they never faced up against. And battles that deserve to be witnessed. Idea 2 is a Tournament of Power version of Beyblade. A battle royale between all three generations would be crazy to see. Sure, the burst generation would have a big disadvantage, but from a story standpoint, seeing the burst characters try to win despite this disadvantage would be great to see. Yeah, some bays do have an anti-burst system, but not many bays have it and they don't last forever. The stadium for this tournament would be huge, so big that the bladers themselves can fit inside. With all the destruction happening, the stadium would keep changing, so the bladers would not only have to watch out for other bladers, but the constant explosions and special moves obliterating the stadium. That's another thing this version can have, more special moves. I'm sure it would be cool to see the Flash launch go head-to-head -head against Stormbringer, but I want to see more joint special moves. There aren't that many of these throughout the franchise, and while we could see this in the first idea, I think they would shine more in this one. The last idea is most likely what a crossover would look like in this case. In Beyblade X's trailer, it says that we are getting a new generation, so the bays would eventually evolve into this new system. Now when it comes to the generations, they are all in different universes, except possibly for Plastic and Burst. I heard that they're in the same timeline, but Burst takes place in the future. This is because you can see Plastic Gen bays in the manga. I also heard this wasn't true. But when it comes to the anime, the continuity is different from the manga, and I don't remember any plastic gen base showing up in the anime, so I'm just gonna say that Burst is also a different universe. This means that in order for characters from different gens to meet, they will have to travel to other universes. This is somewhat possible for the characters in the plastic generation to do, since there have been a couple of cases where they battle in different dimensions. Metal Fight might do the same, I just don't remember if the show refers to it as a dimension or a special space. Burst, however, never does this. There is a difference between universes and dimensions, but a dimension is a component of a universe, I guess. So Tyson and the others could potentially travel to other universes. Out of all the characters, I think Talo would be the one to figure it out because he's the only one who's created a dimension on purpose. Or, you know, Tyson and Kai could just have the battle of a lifetime and accidentally travel to the Burst Generation. Or we could just have the normal evil mastermind that wants to control the Beyblade world, except this time he's found a way to travel to different universes. Be a good time for this guy to come back. Now, if there is anything that needs to happen in this Beyblade multiverse, 
it's Ryuga's return. Back in the Metal Saga, it looked like Ryuga sacrificed himself, but then we find out later that Sakyo got Ronin Dragoon from him. So we know he's alive, but we still don't know what happened to him after he disappeared. This crossover would be a great time to explain that. But at the same time, this is something that the anime would have to be very careful with. Ryuga is one of the best characters in the franchise. He's most likely one of the first people you think about. So if the anime doesn't get it right, honestly, I don't think much would happen. Unlike some anime fandoms, the Beyblade fandom is pretty chill. Also, would El Drago be blue now? Because the last time we saw Ryuga, he had blue fire instead of red. Also, this has to be the design used in the anime. There is no other choice. I want no 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 no. I need this design to be animated. I mean, come on, look at this. This is freaking amazing. Anywho, those are my ideas on what a Beyblade multiverse would look like. Feel free to let me know what your ideas are. And remember, stay animated.